Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Oh. Now, if you want to get your dog's attention, aha! Food. And I could probably even get himself, get him to turn himself inside out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look, is that good? Sit. Gentle. Wait. Gentle. Good boy. I'm happy now, he says. <laughs> cup of tea or whiskey. Finish the cup of tea. It's after lunch. Nearly two o'clock in the afternoon. And it's starting to rain, so I'm not out in the paddock. I'm not going to replace the drive belt on the uh, ride on mower. Inside messing around. Cheers. Ah. Swedish. Come on. No. Long scissors. That's better. Surgical scissors. Ha 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 ha. Nom nom nom. All right. Now, gonna work on this one. Putting an attachment in there. Nom 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 nom. But if you really want something strong, go for a natural crook. That's the way it was growing. And that is as strong as you're going to get. Boat builders always went for the natural shape of the timber. There's other ways to do the, the top. The finial. Now this one is black obsidian. I hollow that out with a gouge. I like that. This one I've shown before. I drill the socket in there, and then with my pocket knife, trimmed off the dogwood walking staff until it fit in just like a dowel. And it went in about that far. Glued into an aerodite, really quite strong. Now, this approach is probably the least strong of any of them, but still quite good. Now, I've drilled that out, I've trimmed that off. Let's get this out of the way. And then I drilled through this node so that woohoo okay goes right down in so that when I put two part aerodite in there and press this in any excess glue is not going to come squirting out here and it's not going to be pressurized like you would find with uh, get out of the way with a diesel engine. It's the pressure that can be such a problem. All right, let's get a good dollop of this stuff out. Come on. I'm not gonna scrimp this time. I wanna make sure there's plenty of it. Lots of it. Sticky, sticky, sticky. All right. 
What happened to that whiskey? Excuse me. That's a Jemison IPA cask. And it's really quite nice. Oh, I got a little bit of crud in there, but <laughs> it's going to disappear. Make sure you mix it up really well. When it goes nice and milky like that, you know you've got a, a good mix. Now, I've done a little bit more work on that one, taking off those corners. I've taken off the shoulder there. I'll probably end up taking off more there. But in the meantime, I'm going to glue this in. Lots of it. I don't want it on the outside. I'll wipe that off quick. So I super glued that little plastic uh, bit on. I just used uh, a hole punch. And uh, I cut little grooves with my uh, pipe cutter. I run through the aluminium tubing, aluminum for all of you people in North America. Aluminum. Now I might just get something that I can use as a handle. And I didn't grab the hammer. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, it's going in. Glue all over the place. But the nice thing is, oh, I'm nearly dripping on the floor. I don't want two part aerodite all over the place. Wipe that. Give it another. By having the uh, threaded rod in there, I don't damage the threads in the, in the aluminium. Come on. Almost. Almost. Something tells me this is going to be quite solid. Yep, that'll have to do. Wipe off any excess there. It's always a good idea if you're going to, if you think you're going to get any glue on the threads, just to wipe it down with a little bit of oil first. Now, let's have a look at that. That's not too bad. And I can sand that off. Have a look at that. Yeah, a little bit proud, a little bit high, but not too bad. What I really like is the grain of the bamboo where the original roots were growing out and you can see them quite nicely in there yeah I like that a 
Yep. This is going to be quite strong and lightweight. Ah, it does more rain. And if it breaks, I just go and cut more in the garden. The tubing, cheap as chips. Cheap as chips. Six dollars fifty for the for a full meter of it, and I probably used fifty mil, whatever. Yep, I think it's going to work well. Whiskey on a wet afternoon. Not bad. Gus is happy. I'm happy. Why is that going in? There might be a little bit of a burr. So it's a good idea to run the tap in and out a few times. Clean up any little, little rough bits. And uh, if all goes well, I'm going to try and run that in. Ah, look, I've got wood grain in there. From uh, using it originally. I do have a thread file that uh, makes it really easy to clean these up. But, where is it? Up in the shed. Is that a good place to do a video? No! Bugger off for lighting. Well, as far as lighting for video. That's better. Clean out those threads. There's one word I hate more than anything else. Should. Yes, I should have done that first. Yes, dear. <laughs> I'm not going to force it because I want that glue to set. And I'll use a little bit of oil in there before I go too far. So that it goes in easily or more easily. Yep, that's better. Ooh, tight spot. Well, Gus is happy. <laughs> tiny little tiny bits of metal so I'll have to clean those up and uh, when everything's done I'll give it a good clean up there as well yeah little bits of metal because I only ran the tap through it about a half an hour ago that's it Wayne's weird world different ways of making walking sticks but remember if you want something strong look for a natural growth a natural cook that is as strong as you're ever going to get any attachment is going to be significantly weaker anyway that's it cheers wade's weird world see you next time